हेलो मैरिनर्स होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल सो वी आर अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद द कॉल रेक्स दैट इज रूल नंबर टू सो लेट्स बिगिन विथ इट सो रूल टू ए नथिंग इन दिस रूल सेल एक्जोनरेट एनी वेसल और द ओनर मास्टर क्रू देयर फॉर फ्रॉम द कॉन्सिक्वेंसेज ऑफ एनी नेग्लेक्ट to comply with this rule or of any neglect of any precaution which may be required by the ordinary practice of seamen or by special circumstances of the case so let's uh, talk about some words what does mean by exonerate exonerate means find out guilty exonerate find out guilty the other word is ordinary practice of semen so what do you mean by ordinary practice of semen let's have a talk uh, of cooking of a food so very simple suppose uh, i am cooking a food and you are having it and uh, the food is well good it's really tasty and at certain time you just said uh, bro yaar there is a little bit of uh, salt in it so please try to reduce so while cooking next time for you i had what that i just done i just removed the salt only means i have not added salt only no salt and the food is ready and again i give it to you at that time you were again saying bro there is no salt what is this so that is actually the ordinary practice of cook means the cook should know that how much salt i need to add hope you getting this so that is only the ordinary practice of semen it means let's uh, talk in another way suppose uh, we are on a head on situation and uh, there is a lots of traffic uh, fishing traffic nearby us and i'm just moving with my ship as per rule i need to alter course to starboard and pass port to that vessel okay so in that situation i am unable to alter course to my port uh, sorry starboard as because there is a traffic fishing traffic so this is the time where i need my ordinary practice of seamanship at that condition i should reduce my speed so that i can have a sufficient sea room or even i can take a more time to assess the situation and also sufficient sea room so that i can alter course to starboard and pass the gate of that vessel so this is the ordinary practice of seamanship in fact i had almost discuss rule 2a so nothing in this rule means nothing in this rule entirely in this rule no one is going to escape neither the vessel nor the master owner or crew from the consequences of any neglect to comply with this rule of the any of precaution which may be required by the ordinary practice of seamanship like so now you ask me that i am on a vessel i mean i'm sorry yeah i am on a vessel and i am o w okay i am keeping a watch for my mistake why should the owner will be punished why should the master punished so this rule is saying they should be punished because they should check my competency whether i am competent competent to perform the task or not they are not checking my competency and just they had simply given the vessel just just do whatever you want to do but this is not allowed this is not allowed i can't do this so that is the reason why the owner is also involved here and obviously master is the final in charge on a ship everything's done by the master order only so he is responsible too and vessel in any condition is responsible because anything happens the vessel is only getting affected due to it so rule 2 part b in construing and complying with this rule due regard shall have shall had to all danger of navigation and collision and to any special circumstances including the limitation of a vessel involved which may make a departure from this rule to avoid to avoid immediate danger the first time constrain complying 
सो वट इज कॉन्स्टूंग सो कॉन्स्टूंग मीन्स अंडरस्टैंडिंग कंप्लाइंग मीन्स फॉलोइंग सो इन कॉन्स्टूंग एंड कंप्लाइंग मीन्स वाइल अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड डूइंग द थिंग्स फॉलोइंग विद द रूल विद दिस रूल ड्यू रिगार्ड देर हैव यू मस्ट हैव सम रिगार्ड मीन्स यू शुड नो वट यू आर गोइंग टू रिगार्ड दैट वट यू आर गोइंग टू डू विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू एनी काइंड ऑफ डेंजर that is going in any kind of danger uh, <coughs> so so let uh, get it by a simple kind of example that the previous example only what i had given you that on a head on head on situation let's take that situation again so suppose we are a head on situation and uh, there is a shallow pitch in my in my starboard side so now as per rr I should take action that I need to alter my course to starboard and pass port to that vessel. Okay, but due to the danger involved, due to danger involved on my starboard side, I can't alter course to starboard just because the rule is saying I can't do that. Because to avoid one danger, I am going to a ground. so to avoid that kind of immediate danger i need to either slow down my engine or alter course to port and pass the starboard of that vessel just to avoid another collision we can alter from the rule we can bypass not bypass uh, means we can use some common sense and we can slow down our speed basically we can slow down slow down our speed to take more shot to allow more sufficient time and even if possible we can have a sea room so that while approaching to dead vessel and even that shallow pitch before that only we can pass by each by other vessel and even i can alter my course to starboard so best basically this rule saying that to avoid one situation we should not create another situation so which we make a departure from this rule and so instead of that we are doing something else just to avoid immediate danger hope you guys are getting this and it is clear to you and if any doubt so please comment and also please like the channel and share with your friends uh, one thing more guys <clears throat> some server used to ask a simple question that at which condition we are going to means uh, we are going to make a departure from this rule so that is given in rule 2 that is our immediate danger to avoid immediate danger we can make a departure from the rule i hope it is clear to you thank you and jai hind